Uh, for a long time, I would take all the strings out of my hoodie, my, my hoodie hoods, because I used to be in high school, and in my high school, I would drink from water fountains a lot, and the hoodie hood strings would always drag down into the nasty water fountain basins. And they're not that nasty, but it's nasty when your strings get soggy. So I just pull those strings right out. And now I'm kind of in the habit of pulling the strings out, because... Um, I mean, when do I really need to pull those strings tight and snug them up? And then you're always worrying about getting them like just even and, and, and first of all, it's not that nice to pull them real snug and get that, that hood real snug around your head when you have glasses on because, uh, it pushes your glasses down really hard on your nose. And I sleep in my hoodie a lot. You know, most of my hoodies are really comfortable and I like sleeping in all my comfortable clothes. Um, and if I have strings, then I'm afraid that the strings are going to get wrapped around my neck and strangle me during, in the middle of the night, and then I'll wake up dead. Anyways, here's a, here's a, here's a whiteboard drawing. We're drawing on a whiteboard. Um, this is purely, this is purely, if you are a struggling artist and you're trying to save money, you know, this is, this is how you get by, okay? Draw on a whiteboard. You can draw the same, you can draw a million pictures on one surface. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, eventually it's going to get worn out. It depends how well you treat it, you know. Every little dent and scratch, uh, it, the ink will get caught in it there a little bit. Uh, but so treat it nice. Don't dent and scratch it. Don't bump it. Don't, don't try to erase the uh, stuff with white, I mean with sandpaper. Uh, don't accidentally use, um, you know, permanent micro on it, of course. Everybody knows the trick where if you use permanent marker on your whiteboard, you just, your dry erase board, just go over it with your dry erase marker, and then you can erase the permanent marker. Pro tip, everybody knows that. It's pretty much an amateur tip at this point, but it's fine. If you don't know, if you didn't know that before, now you know it. Anyways, um, it's great. You can keep drawing things over and over again on one whiteboard and never have to buy a new whiteboard. I mean, within reason. Until, you, eventually one day, after drawing 1,001 things on your whiteboard, uh, you'll realize that it's not erasing so well after all. You'll be using really nice erasers. You'll be using the the best, you know, spritzer, white whiteboard spray-on erasing fluid and everything. You'll be treating it well because uh, you'll have grown close to this whiteboard and it'll be everything to you. Okay, you'll have, you'll be keeping it... Um, you know, under lock and key at night because it'll be one of your closest and dearest possessions. But no, one day you realize that it's not fit to draw on anymore, at least not to fit, fit to erase the drawing from anymore. And you will draw the final picture upon that whiteboard and never erase it again. Like the final etching upon the final etch-a-sketch and never shake it. Okay, I don't, I don't know how etch-a-sketch... Anyways, um... Yeah. The only downside, of course, is uh, you can't sell the, a drawing that you put on a whiteboard unless you sell the whiteboard. I mean, I guess you could, like, put draw something on a whiteboard and then seal it somehow. That's not what whiteboards are meant for, okay? You draw something on a whiteboard, and then you erase it. It's all over. You can take a picture of it if you want. You can record it like I did. It's just, just embrace the impermanence, okay? It's better that way. It's healthy. It's good for your... It's good for your soul, deep down inside, behind this, this fleshy chest of yours. Deep in there somewhere is a soul, and what's good for it is impermanent, impermanent art. Like those weird Buddhists, Tibetist, sand mandala people, they make those things. Their souls, their souls seem to enjoy it. 
Otherwise, they wouldn't keep doing it, right? Right, so just, just do it up. Trust me. And then erase it. It's all gone. And then the board is ready for another drawing. Okay, goodbye.